Hi again. So now after we got the um, WHMCS installation um, software, I'm gonna go ahead and install it in uh, my server for a new company I'm setting up. So you're gonna watch the whole thing um, while I set up the whole company from the ground up. So um, let's open a new tab here and I'm gonna go to my C panel um, there we go so here's my C panel now I'm gonna go to my uh, file manager under files here let me show you let me um, paint it so you can see where's the file manager so here's the file manager here okay so um, click on that it doesn't look really good huh but that's okay I mean the, the circle click on that file manager now it's gonna open your cPanel file manager so I'm I'm um, basing the whole videos I'm making here um, in the project 1000 videos uh, that's um, I assume you're using a web host manager or cPanel so I'm going to use the whole videos um, using cPanel or Web Host Manager. So here's the file manager, and I'm going to upload my um, recently downloaded WHMCFs software into this whole um, my website folder. Okay, so let's just do that now. I'm going to click the upload here. The upload. Um, this one the upload I'm gonna click on that so let's do that and I'm gonna browse my um, WHMCS it's in, in my downloads folder I think it's on the documents downloads wait let me search Okay, so I download it here under admin downloads here. So I have the file here, the WHMCS file. So I'm uploading that into my um, C panel, my website folder, my public underscore HTML folder. So it's going to take a while. I'm going to pause this video until it's, uh, the upload is complete. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the upload um, is now complete. So we can just uh, click go back to the home directory, the public HTML directory here. So I'm going to click this one here. So as you can see, we have now okay so down at the bottom tick that tick that and then you choose the you choose the unzip button here I'm um, sorry the extract button here you see it okay so let's uh, do that you click extract so where are we going to extract it just extract it to your website folder or in this case my public underscore HTML folder so I'm going to click extract files here as you can see it's been extracted real fast okay so I'm going to close this now now we have WHMCS folder here as you can see let me circle it for you again uh, click new here and the uh, new WHMCS folder okay so I'm gonna clear that so uh, let's rename that folder because we want to use uh, a folder named clients so um, for this example my company name is eatmemo.com as you can see here 
um, my domain name there it's eatmemo.com so I'm going to uh, I want my clients to log in at eatmemo.com slash clients um, to manage their account so I don't want them to go to eatmemo.com slash whmcs which is a, a bit um, hard to remember so uh, I'm gonna change this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, tick this tick this again and I'm gonna choose rename here as you can see we have a rename button here on the top right so I'm gonna use that to rename the folder I'm gonna rename it to clients clients and click rename file so now it's clients okay so uh, that part is taken care of so we have extracted the whole WHMCS um, software into our website um, server or folder and we renamed it to clients and now we want to install um, the whole thing so before we do that we need to set up the database for um, WHMCS to use now WHMCS is using MySQL database so uh, let's set up MySQL database from our cPanel 